Welcome to r slash am I the butthole where OP's husband secretly sells her cat. Am I the butthole for kicking my husband out of the house after he sold my cat? My husband and I have been together for two years. We had a beautiful cat named Molly whom he didn't have any issues with until recently. Last week, he kept complaining about how the cat was annoying him and how her meowing was distracting him from working. I asked him, why are you just bringing this up now? We've had the cat for a year now. He went off. He started yelling about how he put up with the cat because he loved me and that he couldn't bear to break it to me that he hated cats. I felt betrayed and angry since he wasn't honest with me from the start. The night ended with him apologizing and him telling me that he really didn't want the cat and so I agreed to give Molly to my cousins because I knew they would take great care of her. They live a few minutes away so that would give me a good opportunity to visit her frequently. He seemed on board and I trusted him. The next morning Molly was just gone. I originally thought that she had escaped or ran away until my husband told me that he sold her. I was distraught. He sold her to a random person on Gumtree without doing proper background checks and forms. I was furious and kicked him out. He's now texting me, calling me stupid for kicking him out and that he didn't deserve any of this. Am I the butthole? And then OP posted an update. I think Molly's been found. I was contacting shelters near me and asking friends to be on the lookout. One of my mutual friends works in an animal shelter and confirmed receiving a multicolored Scottish fold yesterday. I think we've done it. Fingers crossed, I'm going tomorrow. And then OP posted another update. I've been reunited with Molly. I guess the whole I sold her story was a lie since I found her at the animal shelter. She's healthy, happy, and I can't thank you guys enough for the support and kindness. No updates on the husband. My lawyers are figuring things out right now. Alright, OP, I'm really relieved that you came to the same conclusion that I did, which is ditch the husband, keep the cat. The amount of raw dishonesty that this guy is comfortable with in this relationship is really disturbing. I mean, obviously, like selling someone's beloved pet is a whole different issue. But in my opinion, the real problem here is this guy is completely comfortable lying to his wife on a daily, continued basis. He lied about liking cats. He lied about being okay with giving the cat to the cousin. And he lied about selling the cat to someone on Gumtree. It's just lie after lie after lie. And who wants to be married to someone like that? OP, I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. I'm giving your husband 3 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for how I responded when my coworker told me that the reason that I got my promotion was because of my breast size? So, I'm a 33-year-old woman, and I've been working in this company for 3 years. After years of long shifts, working on weekends, and going the extra mile, the company finally gave me a promotion. When my coworkers heard about it, they were confused. Some pointed out that they've been at the company longer and have worked harder. I ignored their comments since they were just venting. However, there's this coworker named Michael who joined us yesterday during lunch break and started venting about his demotion. I stayed quiet until he brought up my promotion and then he flat out said, The reason that you got a promotion is because of your breast size. I was so shocked that I almost dropped my cup. I looked around and everyone was staring. I responded by saying, <laughs> and the reason you got demoted was because of your brain size. His face went pale and people were laughing. He was pissed beyond belief, so he turned around and walked out. Some coworkers approached me, saying that Michael's reputation is ahead of him and that he's one of the best the company hired. But due to circumstances, he couldn't focus on work and he got demoted as a result. So, I shouldn't imply that he was stupid and humiliate him in front of everybody. I asked if they were okay with what he said. They said no, but I could have ignored him or talked to him in private. He's awaiting my apology and keeps avoiding me. I feel horrible because I'm not a mean person and I don't go out of my way to hurt people's feelings. I've started to regret what I said. Am I the butthole? Okay, okay. So, apparently it's okay for Michael to humiliate you in public, but it's not okay for you to humiliate Michael in public? Aw, is Michael's feelings hurt that he has a tiny little brain and he's a big dum-dum? He's a stupid hit? He's a moron? And because he's such a dum-dum, he got demoted? OP, you work with a bunch of sexist douchebags. 
I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. If anything, that was an awesome burn. I'm giving Michael and the coworkers who defended him 2 out of 5 buttholes. If I were you OP, I would just bypass all this nonsense and go straight to HR. What they did was a clear-cut example of sexual harassment, and you shouldn't have to endure that. Am I the butthole for giving my son's dog to his ex-wife? To begin with, I love my son with all my heart. But he blew his marriage up by cheating, and he moved back home. I'm a 55-year-old woman with three kids. My oldest is my daughter at 30, then my twins, a 25-year-old boy and girl. My oldest just got married to a wonderful man. My younger daughter is going to grad school overseas, and that leaves my son, Carlos. He's always been a handful. He got married when he was 20. His ex-wife had a 3-year-old daughter whom I love, and no matter what, I'm her grandmother. He and his ex-wife had a child together, my other grandchild, so he has two kids. COVID caused a lot of stress in his life, and he works in a fly-in, fly-out camp job. He's gone for two weeks at a time, then home for two weeks. He makes very good money and enjoys spending it. Maybe a little too much. Carlos cheated on his wife with a co-worker. I'm not judging him. I'm not perfect myself. But he chose to leave his wife and kids and move back home. It doesn't really make sense for him to rent an apartment or something for the 12 days a month that he's home. So I allowed that. But he decided to be a butthole, in my opinion, and bring his dog with him. My grandbabies love this dog. But he's trying to punish his ex for telling him to leave. It's a beautiful border collie, and it's the perfect dog for their home. They have a huge yard with lots of walking trails nearby, even an off-leash park only a 10-minute drive away. I live in an apartment downtown. I'm allowed to have a dog, but if I were to have one, it would be something sedate and not shedding like a Maltese. I swear I've tried watching this dog, but my son is irresponsible. He doesn't walk the dog much, and he doesn't brush him either. He's just holding on to this dog as a way to leverage his way back into his ex's life. This last straw was his last time off work. He was away for two weeks. Then he came home for one day before flying off to the US for a vacation with his new girlfriend. So I called my daughter-in-law, checked if she still wanted the dog back, and she almost cried with joy. I packed up everything that belonged to the dog and took him over there. My grandchildren were ecstatic. My son just came home for three days before he has to leave for work and asked where his dog is. I told him the truth. He's calling me a butthole for giving away his pet. Also, because I said that if he tried to go get the dog and bring it back, then he was not welcome in my home. Am I the butthole? Okay, so first off, this guy's lifestyle is completely incompatible with him owning a dog. If he's gone for 12 days at a time, and then on the 12 days that he is back home, he spends that entire time on vacation with his girlfriend, then it's not really his dog at that point, it's your dog. So you returning the dog to your daughter-in-law is better for you, the dog, your daughter-in-law, and your grandkids. The only person that it's worse for is your cheating son. So no OP, you are not the butthole here. In my opinion, you definitely did the right thing. Your douchebag son is only thinking for himself. Not for his dog, not for you, not for his ex-wife, and not for his kids. What a disgusting person. OP, you get 0 out of 5 buttholes. I'm giving your son 3.5 out of 5 buttholes. Am I the butthole for evicting our tenants of 22 years? Our son is 22 years old. When he was born, we bought a second home, always with the intention of giving it to him when he was an adult. It's a modest home, a two-bedroom bungalow with a developed basement that has an additional room, about 10 minutes from where we live. When we bought it, we listed it for rent, and a lovely couple started renting. They went on to have six kids. They chose not to move and continue living in the three-bedroom home with their kids. The dad works, the mom stays at home, and it's important to note that we bought this home in 2000. Even with a 15-year mortgage, the mortgage was quite low, and the rent wasn't much more than the mortgage. We've only raised the rent four times in the 22 years they've lived there, and the rent is still well below average for our area. I did look it up. The average rent for our area for a similar house is like $2,000 to $2,600 a month. Our renters have only been paying $1,300 a month. When they started renting, we did warn them. We told them this house was eventually for our son, and we never actually expected to have the same renters for 22 years. 
Our son graduated university in June, and he's been staying with us ever since then. But he's a responsible young man, and we decided that Christmas would be a good time to gift him this home. At the beginning of September, we talked to our tenants, and we gave them a two-month eviction notice. We figured we'd have November and December to get the house cleaned and get any repairs done. Understandably, they are not happy. They've been posting all over social media about what bad people we are, kicking them out, how they can't afford to rent anything big enough for their family, etc. Their oldest kid, who's 19, even found my son on Facebook and sent him a horrible message. Their Facebook posts have been shared in our local community groups, and everyone is commenting about what evil landlords we are. Am I the butthole for evicting long-term tenants so that our son can move in? Alright OP, this is super, super simple. Whenever we have a story involving a landlord and a tenant, I've always got to ask the obvious question. What does your lease agreement say? Did you violate the lease agreement? If yes, you're the butthole. If no, then you're not the butthole. These tenants signed their name to a document that specifically says what OP is and is not allowed to do. So, if OP does something that their mutually agreed upon contract says that OP can do, then OP is not the butthole. Simple as that. OP, I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. However, I'm also giving the tenant 0 out of 5 buttholes because being upset about getting kicked out of your home after 22 years is pretty understandable. Also, them hating on landlords is completely understandable. Am I the butthole for walking out of my baby shower after my mother-in-law denied me food? Before I start, I'd like to say that I'm a bit of a big girl. There's no shame in that. I love myself just the way I am, and I've been living by the motto, be you, everybody else is taken. My mother-in-law has always made comments about my weight. Ever since I got pregnant, she started making more comments while low-key shaming me for what I eat. Whenever I visit, she'll give me a smaller plate, smaller portion, smaller cup, even smaller spoons. She also buys me small size clothes even though I'm in my second trimester and those clothes don't fit. My sister-in-law decided to throw me a baby shower after my husband denied my sister's offer to throw me one. All of my in-laws are invited. My mom refused to come after what my husband said to my sister, which is a whole different story. I got there and my mother-in-law was in charge of serving food to the guests. All that was served was cake and juice. I got hungry from talking so I got up to eat some cake. The second that I put my hand on the cake, my mother-in-law grabbed my arm and said that I'd gained enough weight already and that if I keep this up, her son won't be happy living with a large walrus. I was shocked and I didn't know how to react, especially since she said this out loud. She looked at me in a sorry, not sorry kind of way. So I put the cake down, grabbed my stuff and started walking out. Her daughter stopped me, saying that I can't leave mid-party and embarrass her like that. I told her to tell her mom to leave if she wanted me to stay, but she went off and said, Are you crazy? She's my mom! You want me to kick her out in front of everybody? I turned around and kept walking. I called my mom to come pick me up and I went home. My husband came home looking furious. He asked me to explain what I did at the baby shower and why. I mentioned what his mom did, and he started ranting about how effed up this is over something so minor. I told him that it wasn't minor in my opinion, since she literally cut me off from food and didn't let me eat when I was hungry. He said that his mom meant well, and that I needed to get rid of this easily offended mindset immediately before I pass it down to our son. He said that cakes aren't an essential food, and that this wasn't a good enough reason to walk out of a baby shower that his mom and sister put a ton of money, time, and effort into. He said that I had hours to call and fix things, but I refused. I went to stay with my mom because he wouldn't stop pressuring me to call and apologize for what happened. He kept talking about how pissed and let down his mom and sister feel, and he called me ungrateful and spiteful for doing what I did. Am I overreacting here? And then OP posted an update. A lot of you asked what my husband said to my sister and what that argument was about. The answer is, my sister is infertile. She has been for years. My husband claimed that she's become obsessed with the baby simply because she bought me stuff for the baby, like gifts, and wanted to throw me a baby shower. My sister's a great person, and I have no doubt that she only did all this because she wants to be a great aunt. My husband keeps insisting that there's something wrong with her, which led to a fight between them, and he ended up calling her a possessive B-word. My mom kicked him out, and my sister cut contact with them. 
The issue got worse when my sister's husband started arguing with my husband as well. Okay, OP, there's a lot of worrying behavior coming out of your husband and his side of the family. First of all, his fight with your sister makes no sense whatsoever. Based on the short paragraph that you wrote, she doesn't sound obsessed. She sounds like an excited soon-to-be aunt. Like, how is her trying to throw a baby shower any more or less obsessed than his sister trying to throw OP a baby shower? Right? Like, how come the husband's sister isn't obsessed? If anything, it sounds like the husband's mom is obsessed. And like, did they throw a baby shower and just not invite OP's entire side of the family? So, it was a baby shower that only included the in-laws. Then they insult the guest of honor, refuse to feed her, and when the guest of honor leaves because of that insult, they get upset at her? And like, what's worse, OP, is that your husband allowed his family to verbally abuse you and deny you food, and he's just straight up allowing this abuse to continue. I hate to throw out the term divorce in these videos, because these are people's lives that we're dealing with, but honestly, I think that what happens here goes into divorce territory. OP, I'm giving you 0 out of 5 buttholes. I'm giving your husband 3.5 out of 5 buttholes, and your husband's family 2.5 out of 5 buttholes. That was r slash am I the butthole, and if you like this content, check out my podcast where I publish the exact same episodes. Also, hit that subscribe button because I put out new Reddit videos every single day.